I can tell you, but uh, but I think you hit the nail on the head with that one as far as um just speaking up when even when you think you shouldn't. Because I'm not gonna lie, earlier in my career, I was the I was the POC person in the office, right? So anytime I did have an idea that kind of strayed away from what management was leading or thinking or you know um stepping into that had a rebuttal or something, it took me a while to I didn't want to stand up and be the angry black guy in the conference room. You know what I'm saying? Even though uh or the smart ass or the asshole, you know what I mean? Like, oh, he always has something to say. It's like now. Nah, my way of it is better, but I don't want to, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't want to be that guy. So it took me a long time to have that courage to go like, nah, this is why this will or won't work. You know what I'm saying? And then we had to put the work and I had to put the work in from the earlier days to where I was now, but people kind of respect my opinion. So if they see me talking, I go, nah, if he's saying it, he ain't, he ain't waste, he ain't waste, he ain't hit the bullshit. You know That's what it. I mean? But uh, <laughs> it's a growing up, but uh, you definitely hit the nail on the head on that one. But uh, I was, I did not just be the angry black guy in the boardroom. You don't want to be that guy. Oh, yeah.